your testimony, and with that, I yield back. Mr. Thank you, gentlemen, for yielding back. And now recognize, last but not least, Mr. Fluger. Uh, thank the chair. You know, this is not my first time to McAllen. It's not my second time to McAllen. It's not my third time to McAllen. That's just in two years. Um, you know, the uh, Office of Refugee Resettlement has been incredibly busy. In fact, they put 700 unaccompanied minors into my district in Midland, Texas, in the spring, winter of 2021. Uh, you know, t the, the tragedies that these kids go through, Ms. Garza, I'm, I'm looking at you because they're tragic. You know, I want to find something that we can agree on. Um, and, and not only the tragedies that we see with the kids that are being trafficked, but also the cost to Texans. You've mentioned the cost. I would say last year the reasonable, very conservative, low estimates to the cost of Texans is around $5 billion. That's in hospital care. That's in school. That's in the criminal proceedings. That's what the sheriff has dealt with. And in response to my uh, colleague, uh, Mr. Cardenas, w wouldn't we do everything possible if we had our children who were being poisoned uh, by these uh, these illicit drugs and by fentanyl. You know, when I was here last time, uh, to Mr. Judd's point, um, at one of the processing centers, I just happened to be walking through, and I would encourage you to go on a ride along five years ago. It's way too long. Um, but I just happened to be walking through, and I saw this man with a tattoo on his, uh, his hand, and it was a skull being crushed. And I asked the Border Patrol agents, I said, what does that stand for? They said, oh, he's the enforcer. I said, where is he from? He, he's, he lives in McAllen. He's an illegal immigrant that lives in McAllen. And he's responsible for enforcing the laws of the cartel, the so-called laws, the rules of the cartel. You know, even Democrat mayors, including McAllen's own mayor, are pushing back against the nonsense that's being spewed out of Washington, that there's no connection or link between illegal immigration, the surge we have uh, in this fentanyl crisis. Um, you know, the, um, Ms. Garza, I think you're right. Most migrants are not carrying fentanyl, but... Would you agree that many of them, if not all of them, are being trafficked themselves? I think these are desperate people in desperate situations. Agree. And, and they are seeking the safety of this country. Would you agree they're being and trafficked? I, uh, trafficking is, is a legal term. Okay. I would say that these folks I, I've got are lots being of questions. I, I'm going to keep moving. Um, we, uh, you know, let, let, let's establish some, some baselines here. Um, Ms. Garza, is... Would a decrease in the amount of supply of fentanyl or other illicit drugs help the opioid or the drug problem that we have in this, in this country? Would a decrease in the supply? My position is, and what I am saying here, is that there is an opioid addiction issue that we have in this country. I agree, but would a decrease and in supply help? There is a demand. Help? Okay, I there understand is, there's demand, but would supply... If we decrease the demand, we'll decrease the supply. But not the supply? The supply is, is meeting the demand okay. that we have. I think we're talking on two different fact sheets here. Um, the, uh, the consequences, Mr. Judd, we've talked about this. Are there any consequences for um, the trafficking of humans, the trafficking of drugs, and the trafficking uh, of other materials into this country? I, I wish I could say yes, but absolutely not. All you have to do is look at the, the number of people that we take into custody and how many prosecutions are coming out of that. And there are next to no prosecutions that are coming out of it. Sheriff, in your line of work, does deterrence work to uh, curb criminal activity? Yeah, sure it does. What type of deterrence uh, have you seen over your 40-plus um, year career that works? Well, actually, whatever's on, on, on the prosecution side in terms of sentencing, it works. But we, we really definitely need to prosecute, though. Okay. So would you say that a lack of prosecution of the activities that are involved uh, and associated with uh, illegal immigration, whether it's trafficking of people or, or, or drugs, uh, is leading to the crisis we see right now? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Judd? Well, you, you've kind of just answered this with my colleague, Mr. Allen, um, but what's the root cause of this surge? And what's the connection of the surge of illegal immigration to fentanyl? There is plenty of evidence that clearly shows that any time that we release people into the United States after crossing the border illegally, more people will come. That has always been proven to be correct. And what we have seen under this administration, we have seen more people be released into the United States after crossing the border illegally. And if you do that, if, the, if, that, if you reward people for violating our laws, our laws will be violated. Sheriff, if the president, if we don't change a single law and the president stood up today, and he said, we're shutting down our border. Would that have an effect? I mean, we, we're not talking about anything other than rhetoric. Would that have an effect on the cartels? Absolutely. The rhetoric has to do everything with it. Every, okay. everything. 
So the lack of rhetoric or the rhetoric to say that we're open, because I was there under the bridge in Del Rio when 15,000 Haitians were there, and they told me to my face that the reason they were there was because the border was open, because there are no consequences, because the Punisher, who has a skull tattoo on his hand and who is living in our communities, is the, is the problem. The Punisher, who is enforcing the, the regulations, the laws of the cartel, and us, the United States of America, who are not able to do that. And I, I have lots of questions, but apparently my time is up and I yield back. Appreciate the gentleman yielding back. Ms. Craig offered a document previously uh, to be entered into the record without objection. So ordered. Seeing there are no further members wishing to ask questions or who haven't already run out of time,